Welcome back in. Time for health headlines. And guess what? There's a new kid on the block when it comes to weight loss drugs. The FDA recently approved the drug Wegovy. So who's it for and how could it potentially help you if you're trying to lose some weight? Dr. Beth Kitchen, our diet nutrition expert, joins us now. Dr. Beth, good to see you this morning. It's good to see you too, Mike. Uh, so I, I was reading ahead here a little bit. Are, so are we talking a, a, a long needle here? Because folks don't like needles. <laughs> One of the first things that people are going to say is, oh, it's a shot that you have to give yourself once a week. These injectors are used in a lot of different, uh, for a lot of different medications. They're really easy to give you an idea of how easy it is. 94% um, of the participants finished the study. So that should tell you how easy it is. It's a teeny tiny needle. It's just subcutaneous. So don't let that freak you out. A lot of people do this with okay. insulin and other things. So it's pretty easy to do. So don't let that be the thing that keeps you from considering this medication. So what did the research find out about this drug? Well, this is a really interesting drug, Mike, because it's very similar to Ozempic. Many people have heard of that drug. For, you see commercials for it all the time for diabetes. And this is kind of another version of that at a higher dose that is specifically for weight loss. Because one of the things that the researchers noticed with the diabetes version is that people tended to lose weight. So they studied it at a higher dose level and found that it was really effective for really serious weight loss. And so there were almost 2,000 people in this very long-term study. The study was 68 weeks long. It was at 129 different study sites in 16 different countries. And so people took the, uh, the medicine once a week, or you had the placebo group who got uh, a placebo shot. And then they also got diet counseling and exercise counseling. And the results were really impressive. They were better other than the other weight loss medicines that we see out there. The average weight loss was 15% of people's body weight. Mm. So people started out at about an average of 230 pounds and they lost about an average of 34 pounds. Now remember, that's just an average. Um, one third of the participants, so a pretty big chunk, actually lost 20% of their That's pretty body substantial, weight. yeah. So that's a lot of weight, and it's more impressive than the other weight loss medications that are out there. So how does, how does, we, how does what goes oh, so work, go though? Well, it works on the brain, Mike. It, it seems to lower appetite. It seems to lower hunger, and it seems to change people's cravings. One of the things that a lot of people really struggle with is feeling hungry all the time, having cravings. Mm -hmm. And this seemed to really change that. And so the people in the study really reported these changes and how they felt. And some people even described a desire to eat healthier food. So that's kind of an interesting um, effect of the medication as well. All right, here's the caveat though. Uh, what if I, uh, my insurance is not gonna cover this. How much is this gonna cost me? Right. So. First of all, who is it approved for? It's approved for people with a BMI of 30 or over, so that's in the obese range, or you can have a 27 BMI, which is overweight, with okay. another condition. But one of the problems, insurance may not cover this, and if it doesn't cover it, your out-of-pocket cost is going to be a lot, so it's 1000 to $1,500 a month, potentially. The price has not mm. been set but that's what the estimated is. So you hear a lot of people talking about, oh, this is a game-changing drug. I'm kind of like, well, if people can afford it, it's only gonna be a game-changer if insurance companies cover it. Medicare does not cover it right now. So unless that changes, I don't see this being a huge game-changer because how many people are going to yeah. be able to afford it? All right, but some good information nonetheless and some very impressive research uh, results there. Dr. Beth Kitchen, UAB, new diet nutrition expert. We always appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Mike. I am doing well. Thank All you. Right.